au oh, I mean Nairobi ni kaunti ya Machakos the problem we are having is that the homicide cases are too many if you go you do a research in Thika there is no case that has ever been been uh, been finished i mean has never been uh, I, uh, I, uh, execute, executed and that is the problem we are having because the more we are piling up homicide cases, the more these culprits and perpetrators are walking scot-free on the road and the more they are continuing doing these crimes. And the proceeds they are getting from these crimes, probably they are compromising with the, with the, with the people who are supposed even to do, to do the action. So I would urge the government to ensure that homicide cases are given priority. Otherwise, if we pile the cases like that, people will continue being, the, these crimes will continue, the network will continue increases. The cartels will continue, and every day, the children of the parents, the, 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 the children of the mothers, the parents will continue crying, and this thing is not going to end. Because I believe it's a network, I believe there are cartels, powerful cartels, and I believe there are also very, 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 uh, uh, a very, very big network of how they are executing the, these crimes. We have a responsibility as a society. We have a responsibility as parents to take care of our youth. We have a responsibility as a government, both county and national government, uh, to take care of our youths. And so I would request our youths, one, to take care of themselves, wherever they are, whether they are in school, whether they are working, so that we don't uh, experience such. I would also ask the parents to counsel their uh, children properly. Talk to your children. As you set out, uh, you, you, you set them out to, to stay alone. It's a new experience, it's an exciting experience. Now we would request that you talk to them and prepare them on what they would expect. Naseth Nyakiu alikuanga mshika wetu katika kundi la vijana kwa kanisa na alikuwa mkakamafu kwa imani na pia alikuwa mpenda maendeleo sana. Ni mara mingi sana amekuja na mamake wakati tuna uh, michango na alikuwa na anashiriki kama wakristo wale wengine. Alikuwa msichana wa kutegemea sana na alikuwa nga ule, ule msichana kila mtu angependa tu amuone kwa kanisa ama anashiriki na watu wengine. Kwa hivyo kuna maendeleo mingi sana hata zile ma, arambi tumekuwa nazo amekuwa Ana, anakuja na shangia na mama yake na amekuwa mshiriki wa kutegemea sana. Hata vijana wale wengine walikuwa na muona yeye ni kama ule tegemeo katika hiyo kikundi ya, ya vijana. Aseth na mjua tangu totoni alikuwa mtoto mzuri alikuwa yuasikiza wazazi wake alikuwa mtoto mshangamfu na hakuwa na vita na mtu na mtu yeyote. Seth hata ukimwangalia kwa TikTok ama umwangalie kwa social media utaona tu ni mtoto mchangamfu na mpenda watu. Hata huwa nafikiria hata mwenye alimfanyia hiyo kitendo cha unyama. Hakuangalia smile yake, hakuona venye huyu ni, ni mtoto mwenye anapenda watu. Sasa na nashikwa na huzuni sababu Seth hakuwa na vita na mtu yeyote. Seth ya gatotiga, eto ndo ile toleke. Amjapo a muriaga e hiyo wenza. Na wala watafuata ni Lucy Lydia Zidahachi Hata wakakatikati Brother Dennis Pio Sawa sawa Kwa hivyo utaombe So Haa mejua tibiria Saint Peter Saint Mark Saint Poyle Let us also see our own death. To see on a two, it is one. I may do a Bibiria. Here, look at your girl, not one feast. Now, I 
ayo stage ya tatu bagain stage ya nne Yonkuru Ase Gazette ya The Daily Nation yuko minyo kivaka Ase Gazette yiga ya The People Daily MPs put up fight for CDF, leaders claim that entrenchment of Kiti in the 